Alliance. It's hard. But for them, the Colonel's death signaled the end of their journey. And the beginning of a new life on the shores of Lake Baikal. For me, the loss became a threshold between the Order and my own life. Between duty and my dream to see Dad again. And, like Artyom before, I chose to pursue my wild dream. Along the way, I sometimes felt the trees, ruins, and leaning wire posts vanishing behind. Just an endless movie reel projected onto a ragged screen just for me. A lonely late night viewer in an empty theater. Yet, every morning, the sun rising dead ahead brought another change of scenery, making sure that I was, in fact, getting closer to the Pacific. One step at a time, slowly but steadily, no matter the obstacles on the way. Sitting in a recliner on my dad's porch, I might actually be tempted to start a book about this trip or something. One day, but not here. Not now. I see the town that's to become my springboard for a leap across the ocean, and I smell salt in the air. If there really is even a slight chance of me ever getting home, I will find it here. Saying my goodbyes to Dad before going to Russia, I promised him this was going to be my last tour of duty. Besides, I, I wasn't going to war. I expected a cushy job guarding the embassy. How could I know that instead of a cushy job, waiting for me were mushroom clouds, desperate struggle, salvation, and a tour of duty that would last 20 years? But as soon as Artyom's dogged determination to break out of the tunnels paid off the way it did, I hope to see my father again took root. As we were going east, that hope grew. By the time we reached Novosibirsk, going home was the only thing I could think about. Only duty before my commander and my friends kept me from leaving immediately. But my service with the Order came to an end on the shores of Lake Baikal. There, on that hill, through the terrible pain of loss, I could feel that my friends had also found closure. Their journey was over. Not mine, though. The hope that's been nagging on me for so long now turned into an obsession. The purpose of my life. I had to go. And my friends who had long since become my family only understood. As I'm entering the outskirts of Vladivostok, I know I was immensely lucky to have gotten even this far. But since fate chose to take me here, to the Pacific, I must do everything I can to find a way home. And see my old man again. That was a good read. You should do my read-alongs. Anyways, I'm Tam of the Tam BOTC channel, and this is Sam's Story, the DLC for Metro Exodus. I haven't gotten to this uh, DLC yet, so I'm glad to do it now. Let me just check something here. I know it's a long loading screen as well, but I mean that was a that was quite a bit of uh, like storytelling right there by uh, Sam to kind of keep you occupied as the uh, timer ticked up. There we go. I don't know why they make that hold rather than press. I've never played this, uh, the same story yet, so this will be interesting. Привет, Владивосток. I 
I like your textures appear and disappear. <laughs> Alright, so Sam's American, so it's going to be interesting to see, like, uh, I think he has unique weapons from Artum. Not sure yet, though. That's what I was hearing from, like, Angry Joe when I saw his video on this. His video is what got me into getting this in the first place, so I was like, okay. will be interesting. What's your secondary weapon? Okay. So not too different so far from um, our tombs. Alright. I actually wanted to do, when I originally did uh, Metro, I wanted to do an entire... Um, I think I did a live stream. Yeah, I did a live stream, but I wanted to do like an entire playthrough where I tried my best to do a Russian accent wow. and even what the heck and even speak a little bit of Russian. Um, while I think I did that, I, I did it for my um. I'm warning you. Next time I'll shoot to kill. I did that for my uh live stream a long time back before I even got to like 30 subscribers I think um, and it was actually a really highly viewed video on twi uh, Twitch um, but yeah it was like, like wow maybe Metro is a game I should play more often on thinking uh, my channels and I want to still continue with Metro uh, 2033 but I think I, I want to do a kind of twist to it so to hopefully make it more interesting for people, even though I love that game. And, but, I mean, you've probably already seen other YouTubers play it, so I might as well add a kind of twist to it. Looks like the same one. So there's probably no way of avoiding that guy. Yeah, he uses the same ammo. Kind of like COD Modern Warfare uh, Battle, their war zone. You don't want to use the same gun with the same type of ammo in both slots. I haven't played this game in a while, so it might be a bit rusty. I do remember that I don't, I don't like getting stuck on things in this game. It's really annoying. But I didn't mean I hated the game. I gave the game an eight. I think that's a good rating. I kind of struggle to say, like, because looking back on this game, I actually really like it. I think I said this before, too, in my other DLC video. Um, I actually really like this game, and it started to, like, become better to me as it went on. 
I started to understand it more. Hey, take it easy. I just helped you. Put it down right now. All right. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for a ship that could take me home. You know any good ones? <laughs> we only have one ship here, and she's a looker. Come, I'll show you. I could show you right now. <laughs> Careful over here. It's a long fall. You don't want to join those poor bastards. They keep chasing me, trying to earn favor with the cat. At least they want to get me alive. Get your spyglass. You can see her perfectly from here. She's right over there. Okay, wow. A submarine? It's freaking huge. Nice ticket home. Speaking of your home, where is it? Your accent seems vaguely familiar. San Diego. Damn, another American. Seriously? Talk about coincidence. Another American? Danu! Looks like you really don't know anything. I'll tell you later. Huh? We've got to scram. What the hell is that? The Batwing! Let's get out of here before it gets us. Follow me. Hey, I know that character from Batman. Ooh. Whoa. Batman's stinking gonna kill me. Oh, it's adorable. Boom. Um, Dracula? Oh, crud. Hi. That's loud. Let me put down my volume. Jeez. I don't know if it's loud to you guys. Oh, he disappeared. What the crap? Oh, crud. Oh, I, I ran out of ammo. Where'd he go? Nope. battle Darn. Uh, much better. I 
It was uh, definitely a better improvement on the boss battle than what we've had with that stupid bear. Stupid, hate that bear in the main game. I will always admit that that part sucks, especially the second boss boss battle with that bear. The first is equally as annoying, just the second was just the worst thing ever. Can you imagine playing the game on the hardest difficulty with that, something like that? Jeez. Aha, uh -huh. I could use this. I could use this. Oh yeah. Snap it to a sunch of oh yeah. Hands in the air. Oh. <laughs> Take it, you bastards! Come and take it! You're coming. With us! Take him alive! Take this! Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> job. Guess what? <laughs> what is going on? What is this? Is this stick it turn into John Wick or something? <laughs> Except without a sticky gun? Not so tough anymore, huh? Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have crawled into there. Because that just progressed the story. <laughs> Did you hear him swear when we got him? Fuck you all! Bastards! I kill you! That's American for sure. You know it's American when you're not that good at Russia. Well, I did hear American in the movies before the war. He could have seen some too. He's up. Hey, where are you from? Pal from Moscow. Look, are you an American pal? <laughs> no, I'm a Buryat. <sighs> All right. You got me. I am an American. <laughs> there you have it. Oh, shit. Duh. <laughs> what is this? This is not normal sticking. Is Sam trying to be Snake from Metal Gear? The crud. Some small fries. We know the guy was with him, though. Turns out the guy's an American. Please, boss. 
You swore like you on a bad day. Oh, I see. Just pass the radio to that American, will you? Okay. I knew Pippin were even considering this shit, but just in case, who are you? Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. trouble believing it myself. Who's this guy? Well, didn't we make a splash? Not tell me. Who of us knew he was an American all along, eh? <laughs> there were probably some goodies back wow. here I could have collected if I didn't go to say. Impressive, huh? It's all ours. Impressive. Look, it's the boss. Can just knock you out. Hello. Damn, am I happy to see you? Haven't met another American in 23 years. Name's Tom, by the way. Nice to meet you too, Tom. Is the ship yours? Can I book a ticket? Book a ticket? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, follow me. Let's talk. So, where did you want to go? San Diego, one way. California. <laughs> oh, truly. A heaven on earth. Uh, save for the traffic in LA, of course. That was hell. <clears throat> Look, man. Uh, remind me. What was the name of your baseball team? Padres. Right. Oh, our team used to play them often. I'm from Seattle, you know. <sighs> Mariners. If you think any further check is in order. Nothing personal, Lance Corporal. These are tough times. Of course. Trust but verify. Exactly. By the way, Sam, this is Clem, my right-hand man. He's in charge of the applied force department of my business here. Hello, Sam. Ochen Priyatno, Clem. Clem's boys couldn't invite you here at a better time. The doctor flexed the wind somewhat, but still. Just look at that. Yeah. Had I stayed there, I'd be halfway to Kansas by now. Not that I want to go there. <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> Though, wait. I, how about we have a good smoke and hear your story first, Sam? Won't say no to a smoke. Even though there isn't much of a story, really.
Middle East, Afghanistan, then Moscow. I was on the embassy guard detail. Happened to be in the metro when shit hit the fan. But a lot of people survived there. And then, we just sat in the tunnels for 20 years, thinking we were the last people alive in the world. How come? A perimeter of jammers. The leaders were in the know, but kept it under wraps. For 20 years? But why? Haven't got a clue, really. A friend of mine learned the truth, and with him, the whole squad I was with. We had to run. Across the continent, we had a train. At Lake Baikal, we split. I went further east and kept going until I ended up here. If my dad is still alive, he could still be waiting for my return. He'd be over 70 now. I haven't got much time. I see. So you're looking for someone to take you home. Yeah. People don't just sail across the Pacific nowadays, unlike the old times. But I can take you there on this sub. It's rather cool than Canton. You're right, Clint. Could I help somehow, Tom? And how did you get this submarine in the first place? It's a long story. Uh, perhaps just an executive summary? Well, I am in a hurry, but not to such an extent. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll start from afar. Oh, by the way, I almost nailed Tennessee Sour Mash here. No proper aging, of course, but the flavor is basically right. Want you drink with us, Clem? No, I'll drink my own. I don't really get that fancy stuff, Tom. <laughs> it was just the first failed batch, you know? Uh, but suit yourself, of course. <laughs> To our meeting. To our meeting. To our meeting. Wow. Got a show. Oh, yeah. What did I tell you? So, ready to listen now? I'd been doing business here yes, before the war, care, and mainly on the international weapons market. The locals had lots of money and opportunities, but no connections and style whatsoever. That's where I came in. Clem handled the relations with our local partners. Just before the war, Enterprise was starting to gain momentum. But then the bombs fell. You can guess the rest. Yep. Our company had a competitive advantage, though. Warehouses full of weapons. And Clem's boys in charge of guarding those warehouses. <laughs> then we entered a phase of dynamic growth, and a few years ago learned of a flourishing settlement here. In the Mostly Nova letting Stock. the game do all the talking the because uh, the -captain I haven't played uh, this before, and I kind of want to get admit, what's but going on. Too. Not ready for the ongoing war against bandits. So sorry if I'm quiet most of the time. That's what we offered to help with. The captain took the deal and was not disappointed. Clem found a radical solution to the bandit problem. Yeah, you can still see some hanging. Right. And then we learned that the sub was operational all along. And the captain never even thought of using this immense opportunity. How is he supposed to use it? Obviously, you're not a businessman, just like him. Naturally, to everyone's benefit. For so many years after the war, mankind has been barely holding on to life because there was no force left to unite the survivors in pursuit of restoring the civilization. But we, we could create such a force. A new state, the true shining city on a hill, to lead the whole world to new accomplishments, to turn the apocalypse into a new beginning. We won't even have to shoot. Just drop the anchor in view of any settlement, open our missile ports, and they will readily give us everything. And accept our power. Mm. Oh, do you find this inelegant? It would be just a statement of fact. We are power here. We are the force to lead everyone into the future. I see. So, what do the captains say? Oh, he went ballistic and tried to get rid of us. But when he saw his game was up for good, he ran away. Which means you get to decide where to sail now, right? Certainly. There's just one slight problem. 
The sub's all right, but its reactors need to be refueled. But only the ex-captain knows where to get the fuel rods and can control the procedure. Regrettably, after our falling out, he wouldn't even talk to us no matter what. Yeah, a lot of things starting to make sense now. Great, then I can offer you a deal. Sam, I'd like you to be our negotiator. Make that fossil understand. If he helps us get the fuel, we leave the settlement to him. We'll find a better base in no time anyway. Of course, he's also welcome to have all crew members who won't follow me. And once we get the fuel, San Diego will be our first destination. Deal? Deal. Sam, you'll need some protection as our burly man. I'll send my best guys. Thanks, Clem. But I prefer working alone. <laughs> oh, that's some true grit right there. Hey, leave Sam be, Clem. He can handle it. <laughs> Whatever you say, boss. So, we have a deal. Still, if you are going to represent us in negotiations, we'd better equip you to our standard. Uh, Clem, please set Sam's radio to pick up our frequencies. Sure. Here. Now for the important part, the map of the area. It's as exact as it can be, all things considered. Plus, it shows all the captain's hideouts we know of. You should check those first. Done. Spasibo, Clem. Well, radio's taken care of. As for the rest of your gear, drop by the shooting range. You'll be issued everything. Have some rest first, though. You had a long day. Thank you, but I'd rather go now. I prefer to strike iron while it's hot. <laughs> well, <laughs> your choice. Thanks, Tom. Guess I'll be going now. The storm's already over, after all. Good luck. We'll keep Of in course. Touch. Just leave <laughs> Why was I crouching? Howdy, Uncle Sam. You're expected at the shooting range. Boss's orders. It's okay. that way. Cross the bridge. Okay. Hi, American. Hello. Okay, I think I got this. Time to check ignition. This is ground control to Major Tom. Ground eh, control yes, sir, to Major Tom. Wrong. Damn it. <laughs> was that a Let's see if it works <laughs> was that meant to be a reference to uh David Bowie <laughs> so, uh, I've been expecting you my name's Daniel control I'm Tom's to Major Tom the boss wants you geared up ASAP Sam so if I sing that anymore I'm afraid I'll be copyrighted first your <laughs> universal detector there are mines all over the ruins, so never leave home without it. It can also detect spare parts, weapons, lots of things, actually. Nice. Indeed. Now your new rifle. This looks familiar, but different. It's a local make, optimized for our uh, own brand there's of some of the weapons ammo. that are different. It accepts regular bow, all right, just not the standard mags. Don't want our idiots ruining their old rifles with the hot stuff. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. Ah, glad to hear that. I guess you're all set now. You can test it here. My assistant has a couple of mags ready. This one should not just feel familiar. It's the real McCoy. A 45 automatic. Straight from Tom's premium stock. We have sold quite a few of his siblings here, but this one's been Here's fine your ammo. tuned Good luck. to the max and hasn't seen a day of use past its shape down. So it won't fail no matter what. Ground can 
Control to Major Tom. I'm ready. So, did you get geared up? Weapons zeroed in and all that stuff? Yep. Yes. Everything's fine. Great. Good luck to you then. <laughs> you literally shoot money. Now I got the ground control of Major Tom stuck in my head. Which is not a bad thing, to be honest. <laughs> hey, yes, I'm an American. Stop shoving it in my face. Hello there, our American guest. How do you do? We're still checking. But yes, there's definitely some missing. So, you don't like Tom's new direction? Ground control to Major Tom. Hello again, American. No hard feelings, right? It's the stink. No hard feelings. Great. Except for the fact that you beat the crud out of me. Looks nice enough. That was a really she long battle, by the way. Maybe not make such a long battle next time. Like the stick on a car, and you'll be fine. We even installed a compass. Yeah, don't leave it unattended, though. It's got pure speed. See ya. See ya, suckers. Alright, I'm gonna stop here. Like, share, and subscribe, leave your comments below, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye! Oh, let's quick save. Bye! Oh! Shit! That was close!